गुड मॉर्निंग आई क्वेश्चंस टुडे आवर टॉपिक इज माय एसक्यूएल स्ट्रिंग फंक्शंस इन व्हिच वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस सम स्ट्रिंग फंक्शंस वी ऑलरेडी डिस्कस टू स्ट्रिंग फंक्शंस इन आवर प्रीवियस लेक्चर यू केस एंड एल केस सो इन दिस लेक्चर वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस सम अदर फंक्शंस ऑफ अ स्ट्रिंग रिलेटेड टू माय एसक्यूएल फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल लेट अस स्टार्ट विद द यू केस व्हिच इज ऑलरेडी डिस्कस यू केस इज यूज्ड फॉर अपर केस so if you want to make a string in upper case letter then we just try to uk case and uh, pass a value within the parenthesis or pass a string within the parenthesis and we find out a value in upper case now second uh, uh, function is upper function this is similar to that of the uk case so functionality is same for that upper a uh, function and the uk case function you can easily see that here that Uh, clearly written as the upper function co converts a string to upper case and this function is equal to u case function so it is equal to u case function and this function converts a string to upper case so whether we uh, whether a string is given in upper case or lower case it always gives you a value or it gives you a result in terms of upper case and syntax is very simple just write upper u double p e r upper then text and um, whether with text uh, which you want to uh, make a in upper case and that will be converted in upper case and the parameter is only one and that is text which is required and uh, that is the string that should be converted in upper case letters but you you cannot uh, directly convert or directly use the upper function to use upper function you have to uh, apply a uh, select statement here so just write select and then upper and then text and uh, if there is a table already then you can uh, apply a uh, call different columns name in upper case or lower case letter upper case letter uh, lower case letter for there is a another function name lower so which we will discuss later on this video so uh, there is a default table name dual you can apply the default table dual for any string and uh, if you don't uh, write it as a from dual in the select statement it can automatically considered so just write select and then upper and then the text whatever you want to print in upper case letter so that will give you a, a string in upper case letter so there are three different ways to apply this string first of all use this select statement and there is no table at all so just write select and then upper and then the string name second thing uh, you apply a default table name dual so just try to select and then upper then from dual and third thing is there is a uh, there is already a table and you want to change the data in upper case for a particular column is then uh, you can write select and then column name and then from and then after table name so these are the three different possibilities to change a uh, uh, string or text in a upper case letter so now here you can see that select upper sql tutorial is fun so it is written in small in capital letters some letters are small or in upper case so some are in a uh, lower case so whenever you just write select upper when within the double quotes string is there sql tutorial is fun all string will be converted all characters of this string will be converted into upper case letters so let us check it um mysql is there mysql 5.1 and uh, first of all it asks once a pass uh, it uh, asks her to a password to print So this is the password here. And after that password, we just write a uh, database name which you want to use. So database name is prev here. So now our all tables and our work is saved in the database prev here. So just try to. Uh, just write a uh, statement upper case select then just write upper write select uh, in upper case or lower case it doesn't affect because it is case insensitive sql is case sensitive my sql is case sensitive insensitive upper and then just write a string here so just write sql uh, tutorial is fun 
tutorial is fun and uh, let us check what happens after the execution of the statement we'll just mark the double quote sign here and put a semicolon sign here and just press enter you can see here that now the whole string is in uppercase letter and the by default table name is by default column name is that name of the function so if you want to change the name of the column then just write as and then put an alternative name here and we put an alternative name as upper and then underscore upper function just write upper function and put underscore because uh, name is big we just separate it with the underscore sign so upper underscore function and then put semicolon sign here now you can easily see that name of the column is upper function and the message will be printed in upper case letter and uh, if you want to mention a table name then just write a default table name from dual here now answer is same for that so dual is a default table name and uh, if you want to perform this function on a particular table then uh, you can also do it and let us check there is a table name employee here let us check what is the content within it all the names are in capital letters already so this will not help for helpful for us so let us introduce some other other values or other records in it to do this insert into command is to be used so after that there are certain numbers of records here in which some are in lowercase some are in uppercase letter now you can see that I already insert into insert some rows in it so let us check now the table contains five different values now if you just write select and then name of the column name of the column is name again and you can see that last two names are not in capital letters or in not in uppercase so last uh, so select upper and then name of the column here name and then if you want to put any other column name with it then just write and separate it with a comma sign and here just we want to put id so just comma sub just write id here id and uh, table name is employees table name is employees here just put semicolon sign after that and put enter and you can see here that all names of table employees are in uppercase now I think it is clear to all of you how to apply uppercase now my SQL lowercase as the name suggests it is just reverse of that of the uppercase so it is equivalent to L case so whether you use L case or lower function both uh, returns the same result so here you can easily check that L case is similar to that of the lower function and uh, So the lower function converts a string to a lower case and uh, the uh, L case function is equal to that of the lower function. So both are the same lower and L case and syntax is very simple just write lower and then the name of the string text and the parameter value is only single value is only there. Parameter is text and description is required for the string to convert. So the string which we want to convert in a, a lower case is that mentioned in text. And then example is also given here you can see here select lower SQL tutorial is fun so now there is a string in which some letters are in uppercase some are in lowercase if you want to put just select statement with the lowercase 
Ok, isso está. This is the statement which we use to convert a string into uppercase. We just try it lower in case of upper, then we will see that the string will be converted into lowercase. We just try it lower and uh, we'll let us check what is output. Okay, now string is in lowercase letters. You can easily see that. And um, if we want to put, a, we want to give it uh, as an alternative name, uh, your column name, then just write as, and after that give a name to it. And then just write as lower underscore function. Then lower underscore function with the name of the column. Let us check it. Yes, you can see it. Name the column is lower underscore function. And uh, if you want to, there is a table name employees. And if you want to perform lower function for a particular table, here table name is employees, then just write lower and then name of the column. Name of the column is a uh, here is a name. Okay. First of all, this is the table. Employees table, which have five records in it. Some names are in lowercase, some are in uppercase. One thing should be remember that just write exact column name as mentioned in that table. And you can see that uh, the name of the column is name in capital letters. So just write it as it is. After that comma and after that uh, name of another column name. And we take ID here. And then uh, keyword from and then name of the table. Employees is the name of the table here. Just write employees. And then put a semicolon sign here you can easily see that that is the output okay that is the output so now i think it is clear to all of you l case or lower function very simple to use or very simple to understand both are same l case and lower you can use any of them lower and l case are both are the same next is mid function so it is important for you to understand actually the mid function extract the substring from a string extract the string substring from a string and starting at any position and there are some other functions which also do that work these are sub str and sub string we can we will uh, we will dis, uh, we will discuss them later in this video but first of all we'll just take mid function in it mid functions so mid function is equal to sub str or sub string functions and uh, it has three parameters in it you can easily see that mid string then the start value and then length so first of all string should be there then uh, start value start value is that value where you want to make a new substring and the length length of the string length is, here length is uh, denotes the length of the substring so length will also be given and so a string required the string to extract from required to start position can be both a positive and a positive or negative number a start start basically required the start position can be both a positive or negative number if a positive number the function extract from the beginning of the string if the negative number this functions extract from the end of the string and length is required the number of the character to extract so there are two important thing in it first of all we can give a start value a, a positive number or a negative number both numbers are acceptable and according to that uh, substring will be created 
here and string is the name of the string which is required which is required and length is uh, basically required and uh, length is nothing but only the numbers of character to extract so there are three parameters within the mid function so positive and negative uh, positive number we can give positive number or we can give negative number in uh, start value when we want to uh, when we give a positive number then uh, extraction will start from position when we want a uh, positive number then extraction, extraction will start from first position and uh, when we give a negative number it will basically count the string in reverse order means uh, left to right and in case of positive it will count from right to left so let us check it first of all there is a string name mid sql tutorial and 5 comma 3 as extract string so it basically gives us a sub string and from position 5 and uh, then we count three characters from position number fifth let us understand uh, by using an example here just select and then just write mid and then just write uh, name of the string here and name of the string is uh, here just we write that sql tutorial and scale tutorial is fun always remember that spaces also count as a character counted as a character so always remember that and then we give a value start value 8 and uh, length is we can consider it as 3 ok and then after just close the mid function sign a parenthesis and then after corner sign you can see the ORI so start from S will count the uh, eighth character and then count the string length of three then ORI will be printed here let us check for other just give a, a simple string without any space just write uh, let us write uh, let us here I just write uh, uh, my name and uh, here I can put simple value for it you can understand it very easily and uh, put it as 3 comma 3 3 comma 3 so what is the third character in it and after the third character just count next third character okay 3 comma 5 so let's just count 5 character after that so it will be Evelyn because third character is A and after that five character is A B E E N E E N you can see easy and always remember that space is also considered as a character so next is uh, let us take it uh, another example same example but give a different column name and we give a column name here extract underscore string here and you can easily see that after that put just a column sign 4 comma 5 so 4 comma 5 means string will be started from 4 comma 2 okay this string will start from v so then two character v e will be printed on the screen okay now i think the concept is quite clear to all of you we can also take negative number in it so 
because mid string is similar to that of the um, let us take an another example here just try to let's perform it's a uh, let's perform this function for a table so just try to mid select uh, mid and uh, we have take column name as a name we know that the table employee have column name name and uh, id is there also so there are two columns that will be printed let us check what is the output you can easily see that okay error is there and why error is there because you don't specify a start value here which is compulsory start and end value start and end at least start should be there and we don't give a start value so that is an error that is the table name employee here you can easily see that and uh, just give a start value here So now you, see, you can easily see that name 3 comma 2. So start value is 3 and length is 2 is here. Length is optional. You can put it as okay. Now only two characters. Uh, Praveen, Aman, Ravi and Gaurav all will be all names will be selected according to the mid function and start from third character and then length is two character you can easily see that check any one of them uh, so this will works only this will work also for uh, negative numbers so actually mid string is, is equal to length to sub string so we will check the concept of negative number in this also it is also work with this mid function you can easily see that the sub string sbs er or sub string both are the two functions that are equivalent to mid functions so you can apply any one of them so the sub string function extract a sub string from a string starting at any position and the node sub string and mid functions equal to the sub string functions and there is a syntax again again the syntax is same but only the name of the function is different sub str and uh, there are three parameters in it a string a start and length or you can write just as a sub string starting from and start for length and there are two different syntax for it and then parameter value these parameter value are the same as that of the mid, mid functions a string a start and and length a string a start and length so a string is, is nothing but only the required value that the string to be extracted from the start value is a value at that position which we want to start a sub string and the length is basically optional if we don't write it then whole string should be considered at that point of time so let us check it again okay this is and these functions are already discussed in our previous video here Want to know about sub string function i assume you str function which is same as that of the mid function so you can easily see here sub str so there are some example of sub str functions just try to apply these and you can see here that uh, i just i here just change the name of the function and that will work same as it is as the mid function so instead of mid i just write sub str and you can see the same result let us check that is the same result you can easily see that and If you want to put as a column name with it and the column name with it it is also possible now the same name of the function is scb str you can easily see here 
ओके दैट इज़ द आंसर सेम आंसर एज द मिड फंक्शन रिटर्न टू अस That is the purpose. Now there is a concept of negative indexing. Or so negative indexing is nothing but only uh, there is a simple concept that we count from left to right, and first number is minus one, second number is minus two, second position is minus two, second, third position is minus three, and up to so on. So let us check it. It also works with mid function. You can also apply. This concept using mid function. Here the name of the string is Praveen Singh, and here I intentionally give a negative value, minus one to two, and minus one is H, and after that there is no string at all, no character at all, so only H will be printed here. Let us check what is the output. Okay, H will be the output here. Uh, let us check it for another number. No. Here, you can just put uh, minus two. Now minus two gh will be printed. Let us check what is the output. Okay, gh will be printed again. And let us do it again for another number. As as expected, string give you alternate name of the column, and just try to give value minus three comma two here, and minus three comma two will be n g h. Okay. O n g sorry, h will not be considered because there are only two characters. Length of the string is two characters. So the string is of two characters. So negative indexing is similar to that of the positive indexing, but only the direction is changed. The simple concept is. Only the direction change in it. Otherwise, all things are same. Here, if I put minus three comma three, then what will it print? Now, I think all of you are aware of that. N G H will be printed here. You can easily see that. And uh, let us take an another example. Here, I just put uh, a value. Minus five comma three. Then what will be printed here? Fifth character is S, and uh, length is also five. So S I N G H will ho uh, will be printed here, completely here, and because S I N G thing is contains missing the five character in it, so S I N G H will be completely printed here. And uh, we just take here the value. Minus ten. Then what will be the printed? Always remember that space is also considered as a space is also considered as a string. So V W N will be printed because at position minus ten V is there, and after that four character will be printed. So V W N will be printed. <coughs> and uh, so these are the rule of these are the some use of. Uh, Substring function, and uh, you can apply negative indexing concept of mid function also. There is another function which is similar to that of the substring function, and uh, you can use also substring function in place of SUBR, STR functions. And this is uh, not uh, similar, but we can say that it is equal to the substring function. So it is same as that of the these two functions, SUBR, STR, and mid function, and uh, You can use it. So let us check it whether it gives us the proper result or not. So just try to just change the name of the function, and you can see that there is the same result. Sub string here. You can see easily here that already yes, V W is again printed. So it means that it is similar to that of the S C B S T R function, or it is equal to that of the. Not similar. It is equal to that of the only the function name is changed. That's all things are same in it. So now I hope you like this video. Uh, in our next lecture, we will discuss some more string functions and uh, some depth function in our next video. So thanks for watching this video.